just to give you some idea of the scale of the border fence and also the different types of fencing between Mexico and Arizona. On the other side of the truck there where the uh, uh, shape looks different, it's a screen mesh on the other side of vertical square posts. Here it is a series of narrow set posts just simply anchored up at the top. Now to give you some idea of the determination of people who are attempting to get over here, I don't really feel like crawling in the mud over there to get right up next to it because it's pretty wet here. But consider this, that you're trying to get somewhere you need to be and that's what you're looking at. It doesn't mean it's easy. There are ways I could think of to do it, and I'm sure there are plenty of ways that people coming out of Mexico could have think of to do it. Now, going eastward, we're panning over to the east, and you can see the fence changes character again, going up over the next rise to the east toward Naco. And around here, all of this land on the north side is one sprawling ranch without much activity to slow down people coming through if you can follow what I'm saying but once again we'll back here to the truck and you can see that it's pretty much dwarfed by the fence as it exists right here 